In this video, we're going to see Russian or NMES, which is neuromuscular reeducation. And in this particular video, we're going to see Russian being done to a Russian by a Russian speaking Russian. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the motor point. So to find the motor point for the tibialis anterior, which we most commonly use down here for people that have a foot drop, he's going to put one pad on the tibialis anterior muscle and one pad on the back of his hand. Then he's going to put his finger in a little bit of ultrasound gel to form the current. And by moving his finger around, he's going to try to find the exact motor point where it feels the strongest to him. So to do this, we're going to go to the eSTEM machine and as you see there's a button that says Russian so I went ahead and put the Russian button and then looking at the screen and the monitor there's a little bit of a glare but we're gonna go ahead and put the settings so it's 10 and 50 meaning 10 seconds on 50 seconds off um, the ramp is two seconds meaning it takes that long to get up to its max and then the duty cycle is at 50% minutes 15 and then I'm going to start turning the output up until my volunteer over here feels it in his finger. Interesting. So right now he feels a little tingling in his finger and he's going to move it till he feels it the most in one spot. Is this. Okay so right when he feels it I'm going to press stop on the machine and what he's going to do is wipe off the patient but keep that spot in mind because he's going to be able to switch the pad that's on the back of his hand onto the patient. And this is just a good way to find the motor point on someone just to make sure you have the right spot so when you actually start the stem you know that we're in the right place. Now going back to the machine, depending on why I want to do the Russian, usually it's that neuromuscular re-ed as I said before, so I might want to do my cycle time a little different. There's all these different cycle times, 10-10, 10-50, depending on what I want to do. Now for muscle re-education, sometimes I'll use 10-10 or 5-5. Five, five. I'll press enter. I've gotten on 5 seconds, and then I'm going to start with the output, and I'm going to start turning the output up. Now going back to the patient, as I turn the output up, ideally, because we're doing the tibialis anterior, I would like to see dorsiflexion and maybe a little bit of inversion. And as you see, his toes are starting to come back. How you doing there, patient? Good. So we're going to keep going. Ideally, we want to be able to visibly see a muscle contraction. So this one isn't necessarily for patient comfort, but the goal is muscle contraction. Still doing okay? Yep. A little higher? Yep. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then once we have it good, we're going to press start. The machine is going to shut off, and every time the machine goes on, we're going to have the patient work with the machine and flex his foot up. So this is a good way to stimulate the muscle externally using the electrical stem so that he can work with the machine and get that muscle contracted. As you see, it went off, so he's going to relax the foot during the time that it's off, so it's 10 seconds. And then when the machine comes back on, he's going to work the machine and flex his foot up to try to get that tibialis anterior firing. There it goes. And there you have it, a Russian on a Russian. 